welcome 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 back to my channel you guys i am c2 random i make videos about love astrology advice and all that real stuff and today we are talking about what you need to know when you're dating a Sagittarius, whether you're dating a Sagittarius, whether you're married to a Sagittarius, hmm, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarian, Aries, all of these people exhibit this fire, adventurous, they love thrills and life, and they're very, very extreme when it comes to having a good time and fun. They love adventure. Sagittarians love they also, even though they love excitement and they love adventure and all of this good stuff, they love philosophy. Jupiter, I believe, is the sign, is the planet that rules Sagittarius. It's either Jupiter or Saturn. Um, but either way, that planet is the ruler of philosophy. They rule all things intellect. So they are really, really big on that. So if you ain't talking about nothing interesting that's going to go deep over and above and throughout philosophies and, you know, mysticism and it just interesting things of that nature, people that find settling down boring, they don't pride themselves on settling down and staying at home and, you know, watching TV and, you know, this just no they're not into that kind of thing if you know they do happen to settle down with you you got to be somebody that's like you know that loves a thrill that loves a ride too you they need variety they need fun they need adventure they need someone who can equally balance and measure up to that as well they're not going to be the type of person that's going to just sit still. Sagittarians love to flirt. They love the excitement of flirting with someone, especially if that person is really, really attractive and they're really attracted to that person. Like I said before, you know, love is a, it's an adventure. It's a thrill for them. And flirting is like the is like the entry, the gateway into, you know, getting to that component, which is why they, they, they really kind of just like to play the field because that flirtatious, the beginning stage is what they're really attracted to. However, with this being said, you know, with them being all fun and, you know, down for the adventure and all that kind of stuff, uh, sometimes, you know, the people that they jump into being romantic initially and, you know, flirtatious with, you know, some of those people may not perceive that, you know, them just as looking at it as a entryway, a, a adventure. They are kind of like getting serious. So if you are in a relationship or you're dating a Sagittarius and, you know, things are starting to go downhill, it's because you're catching feelings. They don't appreciate that, you know, and they don't really understand that to the T. Like they, they kind of don't realize that the their counterpart is actually gaining feelings and and love for them while they're kind of just like in it for the thrill. So that can be kind of damaging if they're not careful. If you're especially if you're dating a Sagittarius, it can be kind of damaging, you know. And they don't really take too kindly to being. Um, you know, all emotional and, you know, feeling bent. They're, these people are not very emotional, kind of, you know, they, their forefront, their face that you see does not have a very emotional part to it. It's very carefree and free spirited and, you know, you know, just kind of just fun on the fly. They have a really, really great sense of humor. Oh my goodness. They love to laugh, they love to have fun, and they love to be around people who can make them laugh too. So that's, if, you, you, if you're really, really good at, you know, sharing a good laugh, then honey, I'm telling you, this can go somewhere. Sagittarians love to travel. They are in their best mode of life when they're traveling. But they're happy when they're most free. They don't take love seriously like a lot of other people do. They're not like gonna sit in front of a soap opera and be like, oh my God. <sighs> they can be romantic. They're very charming and they have a romance streak in them, but it's just for fun. It's not for reals, you know? So I'm telling you this because I know this on a personal level, how dangerous being in a relationship and having a romantic interest 
with this type of person is like it can be very very dangerous and if you're not smart you will get played like you will get played and they and it's not that they play you but it's it's just that they're looking for fun. They're not trying to settle down. So if you are, if you happen to be in a relationship with a Sagittarius or you're going on a date with them, you need to have your intentions set straight and you need to know what their intentions are because, you know, you could be just somebody that's just looking for a thrill too. But if you are in this to win it and you're down for the long haul, um, you know, you gotta be fun. You can't be dull, you can't be boring. They're not gonna settle down with somebody that they have to like fight to adventure with. They, they, that's just not that's just not what they're gonna do. They need somebody that's gonna be on their same fun zone, fun level, and yet intellectual too. So you gotta be fun and you gotta be interesting at the same time. And I'm not trying to tell you these things so that you can just go and be like, okay, I'm gonna read a book and I'm gonna watch a video and I'm gonna go and do these things. Like, if they're not in you, they're gonna be able to sense that. You know, that's just everybody. If it's not for you, it's not gonna work for you. And especially if you've been at it for a long time now. This is why I say in all of my other videos that you also need to go and look up your natal chart. I will leave a link down below to where you can go and find a really, really good natal chart. All you got to do is put your birthday in there. You need to have your exact time of birth and you also need to have the location of your birth. And it will tell you a lot of different things about who you are. You know, you might be a Sagittarius sun sign, but you could also be a Scorpio moon sign, you know, so those things do play into your sustainability and your, um, you know, your prolonged, your longevity in a relationship. And it can also tell you more about who you are and why you do the things that you do and how you can improve on the things that you need to improve on. So, you know, please always be sure to check that out. But, um, you know, long story short, if you're going to be dating a Sagittarian, you need to have the shit together. You need to, like, really be interesting and you really, really got to be, like down for the ride down for the ride because this is going to be a ride with these people so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please leave down below in the comments like your experiences and you know anything that you could add to this and if this doesn't resonate with you and you don't really feel like what i'm saying is true or i know what i'm talking about then please do your own research okay do not just take my word for it. You know, always do your own research. So I will see you guys on the next video. And please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Thumbs up so you can show YouTube what's really going on. And that you like this kind of content. And I will keep shooting it out for you. So on the next one. Yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.